When you first start writing problem statements, it's sometimes harder than you might expect to get all the information into a couple of sentences. To avoid leaving out information, it helps to use a list and to consider yourself a problem statement journalist. When journalists write to report, they are looking to answer some specific questions. What happened? Who did it happen to? When did it happen? Why does the audience care? The same is true when you are writing a problem statement. Follow the problem statement checklist. Where did the problem occur? When did the problem occur? What process did the problem involve? How is the problem measured? How much is the problem costing, in money, time, customer satisfaction, or another critical metric? Use the checklist to construct the problem statement, and then ask yourself, could someone else answer all the questions in the checklist from your problem statement alone? Before you present your statement to a boss or other decision maker, test it out with a co-worker or someone who is not as familiar with the issue as you are. Now let's look at two problem statements. Problem Statement 1, The Call Center in Jacksonville, Florida, handled 36,000 calls in February 2015. Of those calls, 8,000 had an average speed of answer, as are, over the contract required 15 seconds. Those 8,000 service level agreement violations resulted in costs of $200,000. Problem Statement 2 The call center in Ohio has a service level agreement issue that is costing approximately $9,000 per day. Right now, pause the video and see if you can answer all of the questions in the checklist just using the information provided. If you are done, now check how much of your answers matches with mine. Problem Statement 1 answers all of the questions on the checklist. Where did the problem occur? The answer is, Jacksonville, Florida. When did the problem occur? The answer is, February 2015. What process did the problem involve? The answer is, answering phone calls. How is the problem measured? The answer is, average speed of answer. How much is the problem costing, in money, time, customer satisfaction, or another critical metric? The answer is, $200,000 per month. Now, problem statement 2 does not answer all of the questions. Where did the problem occur? The answer is, Ohio. When did the problem occur? The answer is, unknown. What process did the problem involve? The answer is, unknown. How is the problem measured? The answer is, unknown how much is the problem costing, in money, time, customer satisfaction, or another critical metric? The answer is, $9,000 per month. Problem statement 2 would benefit from adding a place, a specific reference to a process, and a specific metric. So, hopefully it will be easier for you to write a proper problem statement after this lecture.